folks. Um, got a little video for you. Um, nothing exciting, but something that you, you do need to think about with uh, file management and keeping everything in order. Um, I'll tell you that the story behind this is that I'm getting ready to record a, an album for a band next month and they've sent me over some material um, to let me hear, to give me the, the, the tempo maps, etc, etc. And when I got it, there was a lot of audio files missing. The, I mean, they, they've never used Reaper before, so they just kind of did this as a first thing um, to get this stuff to me. Um, and I, I find it interesting that it's one of these things that I just take for granted and I thought, oh, it's not that obvious. So I explained to him how to set it up to, to save the audio files where you want, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys in case there was anybody that doesn't know this. Now, off the bat, um, Reaper will save uh, your audio files to into your documents folder, I think, off the top of my head. It's been so long since I've used it like that. Unless you tell it where to, say, to save your audio files until you've saved like a project folder. Okay, if that makes any sense. Um, but what I'll do is, let's not worry about what Reaper does automatically. I'll go through with you what I've done so that I could keep the organisation that I wanted to do it. I mean, you can do it your own way. I'm not saying this is how you've got to do it, but this is how I've done it. Now, I came from Cubase, and in Cubase you had an audio folder and inside of your project folder that stored all of your audio. So how you can achieve that is if we go up to File and we go into Project Settings, if we click on this Media tab, now as you can see here, um, this normally is, oops, let's just get back to that, <laughs> sorry. This normally is blank, okay? This is how it would come normally. Um, so this path to save media files can be relative, leave blank for same path as project file. I mean, that's fine, but what will happen is you'll have all these audio files in amongst your project files in one folder. I, I like to be able to find the project files quickly. I, I want to be able to see version 1, version 2, etc. without having to go through a whole load of audio files. So what I've done is I've put in here audio and keep that. Now what will happen is, uh, let me get a, a project folder up. So here's a, a song that I mixed for this band that are going to come in. Now as you can see, we have all the, the Reaper project files here. We've got all the auto-save um, files that I've got set up, which is another important thing you must, you should do just to let's tell Reaper to auto-save every once in a while. And as you can see, I've got all the different versions. I've got version 1.1. This is just when I, I started it. This is the, I'm telling me it's, I'm now mixing. Then I've got version 1.1, 1.2, and so on and so forth. So I've got, I can easily see all of my project fold, folders there, or my project um, versions. And in here is all my audio files. So if there's any uh, freeze tracks or anything like that, they're all kept within this audio folder. And that audio folder, now that I've typed that into the project settings, is automatically set up every time. Now, if I was to save this project again, you do, when you first start out, you say project save as, and then name it, create your subdirectory and move all media into the project directory. If you want to move it or you want to copy the media in, it's up to you. You can either copy or if move any media in, it's up to you. If you've got audio files saved on a separate drive and you want to leave them there, then take the copy all media into project directory and it'll move all the media into your project directory. And it actually helps your computer to work a little bit quicker that way, okay? So I've already done that with this, this project, so I'm not gonna click save again. So now, from now on, whatever settings you set up the project with there, 
um, as soon as I, I've got a save button here, as soon as I hit save, which I can do even while I'm recording, it will do that. It will move the, the media file into there. If you started a new project, until you do a save as or do a save, it will save all the media in a selected directory, which um, is here. In general paths, you can set up the default recording path when the project is unsaved. So if you start a new project and you haven't clicked save on it yet, or you haven't set it up as a project directory, this will, you know, you can set this up to tell Reaper where you want to just put those audio files until you decide to save it and move them all into your project folder. Okay. Now one really important thing this was another problem that I had with the uh, certain files that were sent over, was none of the tracks were named. Whenever you set, uh, you're a, you've got a project up and you create a new track and you're going to record a guitar or whatever, name it. Because once you've named it, this audio here that's being recorded, that's what it will be called by this title here. If you don't name it, what you'll end up with is audio one, audio two, audio three, audio four, and dates and times. Let me see if I can show you an example. But as you see, this is the name of all the audio files. Now, not only the way this has been done, there's 10 songs in here, and this is the name of all the audio files for these 10 songs, because the, the type, the, they weren't named. The tracks weren't named when they started recording. I mean, this is just to give me tempo maps and stuff, so it's not a big deal in this case. But I'm just saying that, you know, for yourself, if you want to keep yourself organised, you want to know what's what, this you really want to avoid, you know, because this is just a, a recipe for extreme confusion. Okay, so... I'll leave it at that with this one. I hope that was helpful and I hope you, you know, think a little bit about project management. You're keeping everything organised, keeping your files in the right place. And just as a parting note, back up, back up and back up again. I can't say that enough. I have got four internal drives in my computer. I've got one USB drive and I've got another firewire external drives that I back up to so please you you will there always will come a time where you'll think shit I should have back up backed up and make sure that the auto backup is on as well with Reaper to save your project files so that if anything does happen you can go back and find the previous version usually I mean I've got it it uh, backs up every five minutes. It seems a bit extreme, but the, you have no idea the amount of times I've used that. And I've m managed to go back to within, you know, a couple of moves of whatever it was I was doing. And because it's um, backed up so often, I can actually remember the, the last few moves that I did um, so that I can recreate them if I've lost anything, you know? So yeah, anyway. Just wanted to, to to share that with you guys, and uh, hopefully now I'm kind of getting on top of building the studio. I'll be able to get back to, to doing some more uh, Reaper tutorials and all the rest of it. I appreciate your patience, and I appreciate the, the kind comments, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye now. <laughs>